In this video, I will not be trying to sell you anything. I don't have a book or a calendar. I'm not gonna teach you a new camera technique either. And I'm not gonna review any gear. So what is this video all about then? Well, this video is all about the experience of landscape photography, pure and simple. It's just me, my camera, my dog, there's Monty there, just having a little wander about Dartmoor on a pleasant spring evening in the hope that we might capture some landscape photographs. Now that's not to say I don't ever talk about gear and I don't ever talk about post-processing or printing or any of these other things that kind of give a bit of variety to my channel. But the thing I'm most passionate about is just doing these simple videos where I just go out and you come along with me and we go on a little adventure and we try and find some pictures and sometimes we're lucky, sometimes we're not. But that's part of the experience of being a landscape photographer. That, that's almost the fun bit that you don't know what you're gonna get. Now, this evening, I admit, probably I'm up against it a little bit. Well, it is a very much a pleasant evening for a walk with your dog. Clear blue skies, it's sunny, not always ideal conditions for landscape photography. But you know, if you're not out there having a look, trying to find things, you'll never capture any images. So I'm, you know, I'm slightly hopeful that I'll get something. You never know, as that sun gets closer to the horizon and the light gets a little bit softer, we might be able to find some compositions. I feel on that, it's a really nice evening up here. Well, after a little bit of exploring, I think I found my first composition. Oh, I think Monty actually found it when he stood up on this rock here. It's got a really nice view out onto, I think that's Honeybag Tor down there. It just creates a nice, it's a nice shape, it creates a nice leading line, points out to Honeybag Tor there. And then you've got all these lovely paths that cut through the moor there. It's, it all points towards that direction. Now there's not much in the sky because it's clear blue sky. So I have gone for a vertical orientation shot, get most of this rock, and I'll kind of cut out most of the sky as I see fit. Because it's not really adding anything, but I still want to include some of it. It's probably more of a reference shot because I think this location, looking about here, there's lots of heather. And I reckon if I came back about August time, August sort of early September, this could be a really cracking shot. But for a pleasant evening like this, it's a shot definitely worth taking. Hello again. Now you may be noticing a slight change in the video quality and in particular you'll probably notice a change in the audio quality and the reason for this is because I'm a complete and utter idiot. I've had to switch to my pocket camera because I did all the preparation I needed for this evening. I thought I'd get my bag fully packed, get all the stuff in it, get all organised, stuff for the dog and then I forgot the most important thing you should take out in any photography trip and that's spare batteries. Yes, I didn't take any spare batteries with me. And because I've been doing the filming and taking stills photography with my Nikon Z7, the battery has depleted down to its last little bit. And now I've come to the final spot. Well, I've had to make this my final spot, I should say, because I kind of want to come back here because I've got an idea for a photograph that I think might work, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. I thought I'd save what battery I've got left for taking that stills picture. I'll do the rest of the video on this camera. Not got long to wait, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm planning on shooting. Right, for my unexpected final shot, I've come to a spot that I've walked by a few times. I walked by it tonight, uh, but I have been here a few times, but I've never really been that inspired by it. I never really managed to capture any good images from here. But as I walked by here on my way up to the, the, the top there to have that view of a honeybag tour, because of the clear blue sky, because the sun was quite clear in the sky, I happened to be thinking, sunburst at the time and as you know when you close down the apertures something like f16 or 18 you know, there's nice streaks of light and i thought well as i go past the sort of balancing rock that's on there i thought if i time it right and it just comes down through the little gap we might be able to get the 
the sunburst come through. That's the plan, no idea whether it's going to work, it's not the type of shot that I normally take, but hey, it's good to do a little bit of experimentation. So I've got a and see, a little bit of battery left on my Nikon Z7, so I'm going to get myself set up, I'm just going to have to time it right and capture the right moment. Fingers crossed. Hello, it's me. Yes, this is probably the first time I've spoken to you using the medium of voiceover. So why have I decided to give a little bit of voiceover? Well, it's now that I've post-processed the image that I'm about to show you that I have some additional thoughts that I didn't record when I was out in the field. Uh, and I wanted to record some of these thoughts and share it with you because, frankly, the image, well, it's not up to much. I was quite optimistic when I took it, but it wasn't until I post-processed it that I realised it wasn't that great. So why am I going to share it with you anyway? Well, I think it's always important to, uh, certainly for me personally, I like to share the highs and the lows of landscape photography. And sometimes it just doesn't go well. For, sometimes there's a reason for it, like you forget your battery, or sometimes the shot just doesn't turn out. And I'm one of the ethos behind uh, my channel, my blog, is that I share the highs and the lows. So if I pop the image up on the screen, there's certain things I don't really like about this image. Now, first of all, um, it's really, it's, it's, it's a bit over-processed, I'll admit. Therefore, you know, certainly because of the, the contrast and I've had to pull back quite a lot of the shadows, uh, it's left the background a little bit mushy. Now, while the concept is good, I like the way the sun has burst through that little gap there. There's not a lot of interest in the sky. Like I say, you've got that mushy hills in the background. And the foreground, because it doesn't have direct light on it, it doesn't really add much to the picture. So what I think I'd do if I came back to this shot again is I'd shoot it wider, perhaps even panoramic, with a better sky. And uh, because of that wider view you get with a panoramic, it'll be looking for some light on the hills. And that would mean that the foreground or the lack of light on the foreground would be less of a dominant feature. So the concept I really like, the execution and because of the conditions, not great. It's not an image I would normally publish. But like I said, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you and let you know that you know when you do go out and take landscape photographs, sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm happy to share the highs and the lows with you. Okay, so I'm using the very, very last bit of battery that I've got uh, to film the outro. Now, I don't know what that picture looks like. I don't know how I'm going to process it. I don't know if it's any good, but it was something at least a little bit different. And I'm glad I had a little bit of battery enough to take the shot. So hopefully it's come out. Hopefully you like it. Um, but like I say, always a bit nice to do a bit of experimentation, particularly with shooting directly into the sun. So very glad I got out at least anyway. So I've had a cracking evening, despite the woes of forgetting my battery. You know, we all do these mistakes every now and again. Uh, let me know if you've made similar mistakes. If anything, just to make me feel better. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you've got a few more minutes yet, I'll pop up some playlists and you can check out some of my more, uh, some more of my photography adventure videos. But until the next one, thank you so much for joining me again. And I'll see you then.